the NFL's London curse might just be real, but in my opinion, not for the reasons most are speculating. I am a retired Raiders linebacker who was on the 2014 team that started this whole so-called London curse, where three head coaches have been fired immediately after their loss in London. It started in 2014 with my head coach, Dennis Allen, who was fired after a loss to the Dolphins in 2015. The Dolphins head coach, Joe Philbin, was fired. And then, of course, this year, Robert Sala of the Jets was fired after a loss. And now there may be a fourth. Two in one season. Of course, we're having more games out there, but a lot are saying that Doug Peterson's hot seat is warming up a little bit. And for whatever reason, the Jags have two games in a row in London. I don't know how they worked that out. I didn't do a lot of dinging. I think it's weird, but they're going to stay out in London and play again in the toilet bowl in London, man. It's a one in five Jags team versus the one in five Patriots. Now, on paper, it sounds like maybe a, a likely win for the Jags, but they're a different team now. After I saw Drake May in there, I think he gave them a little spark. He played pretty well. It was a matter of time before he got in there, and he got some time to sit and learn, which I think is good for a lot of these rookies. But that's beyond the point. Let's talk about this London curse and what I think is really happening there, having experienced it. 2014, Raiders, we went to uh, New England, got beat by the Patriots. I dropped an interception on uh, Tom Brady, and that was immediately just so devastating beyond the loss. I mean, even if we lost, but I picked him off, that would have been, I mean, I would have start every video with, hey, um, I picked off Tom Brady in 2014, and I'm here cutting my grass today, viral. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, anyways, so we go and get beat by the Patriots, immediately fly over to London, and you know, they tell us strategically, we're getting out there, you know, five days before the Dolphins, we're going to adjust to the time schedule, and we're going to have a big competitive advantage that way. And uh, they say, stay awake when you get there, try to stay awake for as long as you can, and then that will sync you up on the time, you'll be good to go. And I remember just being strangled out by a sleep demon when I got there, I was laying up on my bed, I dropped my suitcase, and I was trying with, I've never felt that kind of fatigue, although London's Almost, I think it's 98% haunted, so that could have been part of it. But it really throws off your whole circadian rhythm. It throws off your sleep patterns. It throws off, you know, then your, your psychology, you know, the mind-body connection. It's real. Um, so you're, you're just off. You know, you're thrown off. You're already not playing well. We weren't having a good year. Uh, beyond that, there's a lot more international media attention on these London games because the NFL is trying to expand. Now, that's a, a, maybe a, a whole different video. The NFL is trying to expand the NFL. I don't know. I mean, are, are you really going to have a soccer situation where you, you got a bunch of teams in the U.S.? You know, I don't know how you logistically fly people all over the world to play each other in different time zones. That's a wreck over a 17-week season. I, I don't see that. But at the very least, they're trying to expand their fan base to different locations, which, you know, at least when, when I went there and played... The fans have no idea. They're in for a novel good time. There is cheering and booze simultaneously that never ceases throughout the entire game. So it's always loud, really loud and chaotic. Whether it was a good play or a bad play, it doesn't matter. They, haven't made, they don't have a loyalty to any team in that area, so it's just a constant swarm of noise. Um, Anyways, so there's a lot of international media attention on that game, and I'm sure all the outlets are told, hey, we really want to cover this game, you know, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. What that does is adds a lot of pressure to the teams to want to win because they know there's going to be, with that additional media, a lot of additional scrutiny. And what happens when you get a lot of scrutiny, especially when you're not playing well? People want to start pointing fingers and play the blame game. And you'll see this with a lot of tanking teams um, where, you know, the, they'll bench great players or fire a coach in the middle of the season. You know, if you're the GM, they want to make it seem like it wasn't their fault and, you know, it was this guy's fault. So I think that, you know, the third reason beyond being tired and emotionally all over the place and the pressure of the game with the media, the food is awful. Can we talk about that for a minute? London food sucks, but, okay, the sodas are tinier, they have half the sugar, 
They don't put anything artificial in any of the foods, so I'm sure they're healthier. But not everything in London is better, and the food is one of them. Teeth, you know, are another thing. A lot of foodies will say, oh, London food's the best. And I'm, I've been there, okay? They gave us the creme de la creme. We're in the NFL. They give us the best caterings. They're throwing mint on lamb, and neither of those things are good. And you combine them, and somehow that, it makes you want to punch someone in the mouth. And that makes you angry, okay? And that's a piece of it, I promise. Not everything is better in London. Some people... You art house weirdos think that films are better. That films aren't better just because they have accents, okay? Suck eggs, which is actually their dessert in London. It's eggs. Uh, anyway, so all those things, I think, really just add together to tip the scales in favor of a team that is already leaning towards firing their coach because they're already in the hot seat from not having a great season. I think all those elements just add to making that happen there quicker because they're emotional and reacting based on their emotions, which their parents should have taught them not to. Anyways, um, that's my take. Let me know if I'm forgetting anything. Uh, if there's other details that maybe I didn't consider, I'd love to hear that below. Um, peace out.